turn on to be a glow Mariah shade. Um, I'm here with Wyatt 868. <laughs> Win a 55-inch 4K HD Smart LED TV. Spell the word Coke for a chance to win. You can win other amazing prizes every week. Are you ready for a good day? So Mariah, tell me what football means to you. Um, football is a great passion of mine. Since I was a little girl, I could remember feeling that excitement and passion about football. And it means everything to me. You know, I've been... Um, working my entire life and accomplishing great things through football and through sports and so it's just a great passion um, something I can't really explain but I just love it and I hope to continue playing football for as long as I could. Okay. Tell me uh, when you got started and what drew you to football in the first place? Do you remember? Um, I, I remember um, there was this World Cup I can't remember what year it was but Brazil was playing America, I believe. Either it was a semi-final or a final. And I remember as a little girl, probably like seven or eight years, I ran into my parents' room because um, the, the game was showing in their room. And I saw I was attracted to uh, Marta. She's my favorite player. And I was just so amazed at how, how good she played, you know. And um, I remember at the end of the game, I went to my father with so much excitement. I don't know how he feels now seeing it come to pass. But I went to him and I said that, one day, I want to be playing football on TV like that, you know, and it's such a blessing to be able to say that as a child and remember that memory and see it come to pass, you know, so that's how it started for me. Okay, that's great. Was it a, a, a football, a sporting household? Anybody else here play football? Um, definitely a sporting household. Um, my brother, bless than Shady, played with Naprima College as a goalkeeper and he played with the national team. He didn't carry it all the way through, um, but he helped me a lot in my early development. Um, my elder brother also, he just played for fun, my dad played for fun, and a lot of cousins like Kevin Robinson, Kern Robinson, um, Jefferson Jacob, these are the guys that I played with growing up as a child, um, shrugging shoulders with them as a nine-year-old, um, teaching me how to be tough, um, playing football until like 3 a.m. in the morning sometimes, um, this is how I grew up. Um, what was it about uh, Marta? That, would you say that was your first football star then? What was it about Definitely her? first and she's still somebody that I look up to because um, she plays with Orlando Pride right now. Um, but I don't know, just that Brazilian way, it attracted me, you know, that very skillful and creative way that she plays. I think that attracted me to her. Tell me what it's like um, playing international football. You know, for those who, who don't know, everybody on the field wants to win, not just our team, they right. want to win as well. Right. What, what makes the difference, you know? Um, I think the preparation is the key. You know, if you don't prepare well, then you don't have a chance at international level. And that's something that we always um, struggle with in terms of having the right preparation. Um, this time around for this World Cup qualification games I just passed, I think we had a good bit of preparation. We had a lot of obstacles to overcome um, with Coach Carolina coming in and then that just falling and, you know, transitioning and going through all these different things. Um, but we were training consistently and putting in the work on the field and that's something that we always struggle with and also having um, preparation in terms of games, practice games and stuff. That's always a challenge and that's something that we see happening now where we play in Mexico, not Mexico, sorry, um, Venezuela last year and then Panama this year, you know, so that's something that we need to really improve on if we need to get to the next level because we need to play more games and have more preparation to see where our weaknesses are and also our strengths so we can improve. You all came out a whisker away from uh, qualifying for World Cup yourself. You know, you could see what the emotions were like for you then and, and what it would mean for you to play in a World Cup. Um, well, that's the whole purpose of playing football for me is trying to qualify for a World Cup. And I believe that we can do it. The last campaign, I think it was a lot of heart and soul into the whole World Cup qualifying campaign. Um, and that December the 2nd when we lost against Ecuador, it was very emotional for me. In the moment, I know I had to be strong for my teammates. A lot of them broke down on the field at the end of the game, you know, but I felt like I needed to be strong for them. And, um, but it was very hard for me because reality kicked in a couple of days after and I had to, through the help of God, I had to like, you know, um, just get over that period of that great disappointment. Um, but also it's a way to fuel me, I believe, um, in this World Cup qualifications here. Yeah, just to, 
never um, give nothing but my best, you know, because if every player thinks like that, then we could only succeed on the field. So it's just using the past experience, which was very difficult to overcome, going into the future in a positive way in terms of just making sure it doesn't happen again and giving it our best shots. Do you think you have overcome the, the, the experience that time? Um, I don't think that's something personally someone could overcome. Um, it's like a ghost, honestly. It's, honestly, even when we had that challenge against St. Kitts in the um, couple of games there, you know, all of that was just replaying in my mind. And I'm sure it wasn't just me alone, you know, because we're very passionate about it. And just to think, you know, that we were coming so close to not going to the second round, all sorts of thoughts and that kind of thing started to replay my mind. But again, I use that as something positive to help me to work extra harder to make sure that that's not our result of coming out of the World Cup campaign this early. Okay. If I could ask, was there ever a player, a World Cup player, so that you tried to pattern your own game off of? Um, Suarez from Uruguay, I'm a Barcelona. Um, I look up to him also because he's a top class striker and some of my cousins, they tell me I play like him. You know, so when I started to analyze his game a lot more, I started to see um, a lot of myself in him also. So that's somebody that I look up to. I look at games sometimes before um, our games, like the night before. I sometimes I look at Barcelona play and I would put, um, particularly look at Suarez um, and look at Messi and look at their movement, look at their um, finishing their runs and these kind of things. So definitely um, Suarez is someone I look up to as a forward. Okay, and for the, the Russia World Cup? Um, Argentina. Okay, what about Messi then? Um, definitely, he's my favorite player. I love him very much. <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play in this World Cup. Describe what about um, what about Messi that, that really caught your attention? Um, they just can't get the ball from his feet. You know, he's so skillful and he's simple. You know, most of his goals, it, the ball just literally rolls in the back of the net. You know, he has that precision um, in the box and in terms of finishing. That's something I look up to him the most. Um, was it like uh, during the, the World Cup tournament at your home? Um, usually we watch the games at home, but I can remember one World Cup we went to IMAX and watched the game together as a team, so it was a really nice experience. And that was when Germany beat Argentina in the finals, so I didn't go home all that happy, but again it was it was good because I was with all the national players, we were together having fun watching the game, you know, that's what we do, that's what we love to do, so it was a good experience. Um, so, you know, sometimes it depends on um, like we mentioned Kayla Taylor, she looks close to me sometimes, we hang out and watch games together too, so I'm really just looking forward to see Messi play, um, because he's just the greatest footballer, I believe, um, and just the whole World Cup itself, I'm looking forward to the entire World Cup, um, to see the teams, how they progress and, you know, how they go through the entire process, because I was just thinking about it yesterday, at the end of the day, only two teams will be in the final and one team will win, and that's just a journey seeing all these teams come together trying to win that trophy. So it's going to be amazing. Looking forward to it.